What's going on, chicken friends? It's Donna Little from The Coop Scoop. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. Guys, a few weeks ago, somebody suggested that I make a playlist of all the chicken breeds that I have and give you guys some information about them, and I thought, what a great idea. So, I've got 21 chickens, but I've only got 10 different breeds. So, I'm gonna make a video on each breed and I'm gonna give you guys some facts about that breed off the internet, but then I'm gonna give you my opinion from my experience owning each one of these breeds. So I wanna start with my Brahmas because I love them. They're my favorites, don't tell anybody else. Charlotte is up here, she's listening. But uh, it is what it is, folks. So here are some facts about Brahmas. They are an American breed. They are the second largest breed of chicken. Uh, I think in the world. The only breed that's larger, I believe, is the Jersey Giant. So they are big birds. The hens, when they're adults, are somewhere between nine and 12 pounds. And then the roosters are gonna be anywhere between 12 to 18 pounds. So that is a huge chicken. They are really good egg layers. Not, they're not gonna compete with like uh, a high production egg layer, but they still lay anywhere between 150 and 180 large brown eggs per year. As far as their temperament, second to none. I mean, they are very, very docile. They're calm. They are very sweet. And I think some people might look at the size of them and think, should, you know, I've got kids, should I have this type of bird? Absolutely. They are known as a gentle giant. They are fantastic. Do you want to join me, Charlotte? She's just pottering around the floor. Now, they come in three colors that are um, recognized by the American standard of perfection. And those three colors are light, dark, and buff. I have one of each but they also come in a zillion different other colors. Uh, you can go probably online, on Facebook, somewhere, and find uh, breeders where they will breed the different groups, but I think if you wanted to show them, you would need to have one of those three colors. They are, I've seen them in uh, black, white, lavender, partridge, models, just a whole lemon, a variety of colors. So you can find them out there I have wanted to get some, but any breeder that I've come across, they don't sex them, so I wouldn't be able to get chicks, so I don't know. I, I'm going to still have to think about that, but they also, of course, have the, um, they're very heavily feathered, and they've got the feathered feet, which is uh, one of my favorite things. So they uh, also have what's called a pea comb, so their comb is very short and very close to their head, so they do well in all climates. I mean, if it's uh, a very, very cold climate where you live, they're gonna do fine. They're gonna be far less likely to get frostbitten um, on their comb, which is an issue if you have some of the breeds that have the you know, really, really large combs. A lot of times if you're in a cold climate, they're gonna end up with frostbite. So that's not really gonna be a problem with Brahmas, but even as heavy, heavy bodied as they are and heavily feathered as they are, they really do well in a warmer climate too. I've, I live in the south and my three did not struggle, didn't miss a beat all summer last year, so they don't have um, uh, problems with handling the heat either. They're just really, really hardy all around birds. Now, if you are wanting a chicken that is gonna mature fast, that's gonna be laying eggs by the time they're four or five months old, maybe not the chicken for you. They mature a little later than um, a lot of chickens do. So I think mine started laying at around eight months, but it can take up to nine months. So just be aware of that. So I, th I think that's about all the facts I can think of off the top of my head. Um, so now I'm gonna give you my opinion and I'm gonna show you and introduce you to my three precious, precious ladies. All right, guys, I want you to meet my Brahmas. I'm gonna start with Zadie. She's my light Brahma. I mean, is she beautiful or is she beautiful? 
She is absolutely the sweetest. Gets along well with all the other chickens. I think she would get do great even with um, bantam sized chickens. When I first got my last set of chicks, she was the first one that could be completely trusted with them. And then my, I've got a beautiful buff Brahma here and my dark Brahma. The dark Brahma is Ella and the buff is Delilah. These three chickens, if I had to give them a rating, they would get a 10 out of 10. Absolutely, 100%. You are not going to meet or find a breed of chicken that has a better disposition, um, that is just kind of all around fantastic. They're, they're amazing. If you want something teeny tiny, you could even try getting a Bantam uh, Brahma if that's your thing. I love the bigger ones. So that's kind of more what I enjoy. But as far as laying well in the winter, laying well in general, giving you those big, beautiful, dark brown eggs. Or they're not dark brown, they're just brown. Um, also having the sweetest temperament. They don't mind being handled and held. If you have children, absolutely give them, just I give them a 10 out of 10. So I don't have a single bad thing. I don't have a single con to give you as far as pros and cons about Brahmas. I say every single flock in the world needs to have at least a few of them. So you guys, if you're enjoying our content, I've got a little breeze going here. If you're enjoying our content, I hope that you'll stick around and like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.